My involvement with queer youth programs doesn't really affect my uh, relationship with my peers at all. Some of my peers are worried that I'm doing too much and I might burn out because I do do a lot of different things. But most of them just, I mean, that's what I've always been doing my whole life um, is doing volunteer work for people who are marginalized, whether it's in the mental health community or the queer youth community, foster youth. Um, so most of them don't really think anything of it. Delta Charter High School at Cabrillo could continue to keep queer youth on their radar. Um, we're doing everything right right now, I feel, um, and I think the important thing is that we continue to do those things and we never let ourselves feel comfortable or easy or like we don't have a problem because as soon as you let your guard down is when problems with bullying and hate speech come back up. So we just need to keep doing what we're doing. I first started realizing my queer identity when I was in sixth grade and Britney Spears' music video, the Hit Me Baby One More Time, came out and I had a massive crush on her. And I was really embarrassed and I didn't want to tell anyone, not because I had a crush on a girl, but because it was Britney Spears and not like Courtney Love or Joan Jett or somebody that people would expect me to have a crush on. So that I think is when I started to realize. Uh, I have a lot of favorite movies. I think the movie that has changed my life the most was Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, I first saw it on TV when I was in middle school and I lived in a really conservative town and I had never seen fishnets before um, at like a very basic level besides all the other things in that movie I'd never seen before. And I just remember going up to my mom afterwards and saying, mom, what are those tights that have lots of holes in them? And she's like, um, fishnets? I'm like, I want to get some of those. And she's like, oh no, 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 <laughs> you're not going to wear those. And I found some in a ho on a Halloween sale um, at like Walmart. And um, I got like five different pairs and I wore them all the time. And I would cut the crotch out of them and then cut the feet off and turn them into shirts too. So I would have like fishnet shirts and then I'd wear fishnets under my ripped jeans. And my mom was pretty horrified. I wear a lot of black, but I think my favorite color is purple. Um, my students know that I have a thing I only correct papers or write comments or sign things in purple. It's just kind of my teacher thing. I have purple pens everywhere. Um, I just think it's a fun color. And when I was growing up, there was a lady on our street. She was called the purple lady and she did everything purple. And a lot of kids were scared of her. They thought she was a witch. And I thought that was really cool. So I started getting obsessed with purple.